Today, Season 1 of the Tennessee Titans franchise will come to an end. This season has been a grind, but I know we are finishing this season stronger than the way we started. We've been playing some pretty good football down the stretch, trying to create momentum going into Season 2 and finding players and things that work for this football team. For the first time, we have become a pretty confident team Maybe a little too confident here. We're talking trash to the opponents before the final game of the year. A team that might become the number one seed in the AFC. That's just the way we're doing things around here. We got some more upgrades rolling in. Roger McCreary. He's a player who should play more today. And then Christian Fulton. What a year he's put together. So happy with his progress. Now we have won three games in a row. Four of our last five. The last team to defeat us was these Jacksonville Jaguars, and this was a bad game especially for our defense that failed to make plays throughout. Now in this game you are going to see some rookies and young players play more that we don't typically have on the field at all times, so the starters are only expected to play around a quarter or so. Let's get game 17 underway. This episode is sponsored by Underdog Fantasy. We'll talk about them more at the half as we get underway in Jacksonville. Jamal Agnew handles the return. He's a dangerous playmaker and takes the Jaguars to the 24 yard line. The Jaguars are a 13 win team. First place in the AFC South and Trevor Lawrence has simply been incredible this year. He is two touchdowns away from throwing 50. That has only been done before by Peyton Manning, Tom Brady, and Patrick Mahomes. First pass for Lawrence is complete. There is Zay Jones with a gain of eight. Jaguars into a third and short as Lawrence rolls away from the pressure and he throws it away when it looks like he could have maybe run for it. It is a Jaguars three and out and back deep here is Cavante Turpin now he wants to go and get it, but he muffs it, and it goes back to the Jaguars. He thought about it, decided, no, I want to return this and show what I can do, but he forgot to bring the ball with him. It's a short field for Jacksonville, and they'll hand this to Christian Kirk. He'll get away from one defender. It's a short pickup. Third and goal now. Jaguars five yards out. Lawrence looks left. Resetting. He throws it away again. Nice job by the defense holding on there. Here comes Malik Willis. Fresh off a 97-yard game-winning touchdown pass last week. He has played some good games here down the stretch, and I'm feeling confident about him moving into the future, especially once we get an offseason under our belt here. Off play action, it is dumped off. It is the fullback, Tory Carter. It's a gain of six. Here is that offset pistol they love so much. And Willis is going to keep it. First down and more toward the 50 and bumped out at the Titans bench. A 21-yard run. Willis has a real chance to reach 1,000 rushing yards on the season. And here is one Titan who has already done that. Derrick Henry, gain of five. Don't expect a full workload for Henry in this game as the starters are only going to play through the first quarter today. Third and seven here for Willis as he gets hit and the pass is picked off. If we were hoping for a game where he would not throw an interception, you'll have to wait till maybe next year. Second turnover for the Titans and the Jaguars take over. This is a carry for James Robinson, spinning away from contact as he gets a gain of six. Travis Etienne now in the game on first down as Lawrence throwing downfield. That is Zay Jones with the catch and Jeffrey Simmons shaken up. Last thing we want here are injuries in the final game. That is not an important one for Tennessee. First down up top, a nice throw to Robinson. Down to the eight-yard line. The Jaguars have a lot of ways they can beat you. They're back in the red zone. Second and goal. Lawrence throwing outside. He's got Christian Kirk. Touchdown. 49 for Trevor Lawrence. Tying Peyton Manning 
who had a 49 touchdown season back in 2004. This is now a tie for the fourth most passing touchdowns in a single season. Duvall is happy right now. It's 10-0 Jacksonville here in week 18. What a big opening. This is Derrick Henry. And Tennessee gets something going. It's a 16-yard run. They have two receivers on the field here on second down. And Willis gets dropped by Josh Allen. The last time these teams played, Josh Allen had a massive game and the Jaguars had 10 sacks. Third and 17, Willis down the middle, and it's caught! That is Nick Westbrook Akine, who had the game-winning touchdown last week, and he's really been there for big pass catches lately. They'll run it here, and that is Julius Chestnut, but a loss of one for the rookie. Henry back in the game on second down, play fake. Willis has his eyes downfield, he throws to the end zone, and it's Robert Woods, touchdown! Just the second of his season. I wasn't sure about this throw, the coverage looks pretty good, and the throw was a little behind him, but he just makes the play. Tennessee showing some fight after all in this game as the Lawrence QB draw does not work. Third and seven. They'll bring five. Lawrence feels pressure. Throws downfield. It's denied. Christian Fulton knocks it away. Tennessee starting to turn this game in their favor now. 30-yard line. Willis keeping. They can try to chase him down. He gets first down yardage. It's a gain of 12. Out of the pistol on first down. They love their play action. Willis throwing. It's caught by Traylon Burks at the Jaguar 34. They've been going to play action for a lot of those big plays. Now they'll run Henry to the outside, but the Jaguars are ready. Josh Allen makes the tackle. Just 17 yards for Derrick Henry, and now we're on to the second quarter. And this is Burks on the quick flip, but the Jaguars are not fooled. And it's third down and 11. Chestnut checks in. Willis needs the 25, and he will not get there as he gets sandwiched. Recovered some of the yardage there to give Bullock a chance. This is 54 yards, wind at the back of Bullock. And it is right down the middle and through. Tennessee has tied this game. And we are seeing a few new players rotate in for the defense. So it could be a different uh, looking team the rest of the way. And here's Robinson enjoying the big running lane on first down. This could be trouble. Two deep safeties. It is Robinson again. And the ball is knocked out. But it stays with the Jaguars. And there's one of the new guys. That is rookie Chance Campbell. Laying the big hit that jars it out. Jaguars keep the ball though. Third and five. They go empty for Lawrence. He's got time. Wide open is Zay Jones. Up to the 32 of Tennessee. They'll stay empty. And this is a third and six for the Jaguars. A draw for Lawrence, and it almost worked. Fourth and one, Jacksonville. And they will keep the offense out there. Oh, we have movement. Who moved first? Oh, it's on the Jaguars. So the quarterback draw wasn't really a bad call there if you're willing to go for it. But... The penalty forces them into other plans, and a field goal makes this a 13-10 game. Eight minutes to go in the game now, and Hassan Haskins is in there at running back for Tennessee, and a good first play for him, running through the middle for a gain of 14. Haskins, the rookie out of Michigan, hasn't really gotten much playing time this year because of a guy named Derrick Henry. It's a gain of nine. The receivers are also rookies, Traylon Burks and Kyle Phillips, who makes the catch on second down. Nice timing throw there for Tennessee. New set of downs. Play action for Willis. He gets it away, but the pass sails away from Burks. The hit was applied by D. Ford. 
Taking off now on second down. A huge opening in the defense, and Willis exploits first down. Rookie Chega Conquo getting more playing time. This is second and eight. On the outside, good catch. And there's Burks once again. I continue to be impressed with the accuracy of Willis as this season has gone on. At the 17 now, this is a third and nine. Willis to the air, looking toward the end zone. He sails this one into the first row. So there are still some inconsistencies in his passing, but we get three points out of the drive. 13 all here as this pass is incomplete and there is a penalty for a roughing the passer. We do not have Jeffrey Simmons on the field. There's Ola Adeniyi still, that's a catch. First down to Jacksonville at the 41 of Tennessee. Rashad Weaver is getting more playing time to Sean Hand. Lawrence going deep, has a man, that's caught by Marvin Jones. Down to the five. And Trevor Lawrence is now just a few yards away from touchdown pass number 50. Looking for it on first down, sees nothing, buys time, rolling outside, he'll run for about two yards. This is a pass look again on second down. Indeed it is. Lawrence under pressure and they get to him. And everybody was covered. Jeffrey Simmons checks back in to make a play. And it's third down and goal. Two safeties standing in the end zone. It's a draw to ETN. He'll have it at the five and the Tennessee defense will get off the field. The way this game began, I thought that Jacksonville might be running away with the game by this point, but it's only a three-point lead. And Tennessee continues to battle. One minute, seven seconds to go in the first half. Malik Willis. He's going for the big play this time. Deep downfield, and it's broken up for Traylon Burks. That deep ball hasn't been there all season. I'm not expecting it to show up in week 18 as Willis gets sacked. And the Jaguars want a chance to go add some more if possible. Trevor Lawrence, 41 seconds left. He'd love to get touchdown number 50 here shortly. With plenty of time, he throws it off the mark. Maybe that was just a throwaway. Third and six. Good protection. Needs more time because nobody's open. And he throws it away. Fourth down. Again, this Tennessee Titans team will battle, and teams have not had a very easy time against them late in the season. They've racked up four victories. They're playing the Jaguars tight in this one, and the Jaguars still haven't locked up the AFC South. The Colts are still in it, and they are leading the Texans 17 to nothing. Big thanks to Underdog Fantasy for sponsoring today's video. I've been enjoying Underdog Fantasy for a couple years, to add some fun to my NFL Sundays or Mondays or Thursdays. The primetime games are a lot of fun. I like doing these pick'ems here on Underdog where you can look at different stat predictions for players and choose whether you think a player could go higher or lower than that number. For instance, tonight, if you think Lamar Jackson can get over 63 and a half rushing yards, that could be an option. Here on Underdog, you can match some of these together that you like and also you can go from other sports if you have uh, a strong feeling about a player there and there are a lot of sports a lot of options but i'm not about to give you any picks because i've been playing horribly lately josh allen could not get gabe davis for more than 33 yards yesterday come on i could have at least won this one i went higher on garrett wilson which felt like the risky one and this is the one that fails if you join Underdog Fantasy using the link in the description and use the promo code KANE, they will match your first deposit up to $100. So you can have some extra money and try to get some wins here during uh, whatever sports season you're really into right now. Maybe I can get back in the win column tonight. I mean, like 38 and a half receiving yards for Kamara. That feels like it's pretty doable. Maybe an interception for Andy Dalton. And then I got to find something I want to combine with maybe a Lamar Jackson uh, higher here. I'm not going under on Lamar. 
Big thanks to Underdog Fantasy. Check the site out if you haven't already. Let's get back to the Titans franchise. Boom! The second half is underway. Final game of the season. Here is Cavante Turpin across the 25, and here comes the Titans offense. Got to avoid those pass rushers a little bit better in this second half. There were far too many negative plays, and Willis escapes the pass rush on this play, getting eight yards. Offset pistol. It's a Conquo and Haskins next to Willis, who looks to keep it, and he slides down safely with about six. Three receivers in the game on first down. Play action. Willis sets his feet and throws complete. And it's Kyle Phillips down to the 42 of Jacksonville. Feels like all of our good passing plays are coming off of play action. And then Willis is going to keep it. First down and more. Sliding at the 30. There's 12 more. Already 74 yards for Malik Willis. At the 30-yard line. Play fake again. Willis got him open. That's caught by Phillips at the 14. Looking to retake the lead. 14 yards out. Willis back to pass. Throwing to the end zone. Too far for a Conquo. Now they're going empty on third down. Four on the rush. Willis steps up and gets sacked again by Josh Allen. And the field goal team will come out. To tie it at 16, the kick is good. Here is Trevor Lawrence at the 37-yard line, still looking for that 50th touchdown as James Robinson finds an opening. And it looks like this run defense has been a little worse since the uh, personnel changes. That's caught Evan Ingram with a catch and run. Looked like Amani Hooker underestimated the speed there, and he gets down to the Titans' 20. Red zone Jaguars, first and 10. Plenty of time. It's caught inside the 10 by Zay Jones. Goal to go. Jaguars. Trevor Lawrence trying to make history. First and goal. He works to his left. Nothing there. In trouble. And the ball is on the ground. It is recovered by the Jaguars, but they lose 18 yards on the play. So now it's goal to go from the 19 for third and goal. Lawrence, he's got time, but has to check it down and sailed it over ETN. Just feels like a struggle for these teams to find the end zone today. Jaguars back up by a field goal in this back and forth contest. Back to Tennessee, third quarter is winding down. Willis back to pass, wants to scramble to his right and gets taken down by Golston. It is a short loss to set up third down. Titans need 10. Willis lets it go. It's Phillips on the catch at the 45-yard line. A first down, and Kyle Phillips has been very productive here in the finale. I'll give it now. A good cut from Chestnut downhill, and that's a gain of five. Right at midfield on second down. Chestnut again. Through the middle, four-yard pickup. Third and short, Tennessee. Could be final play of the quarter. And it's Chestnut getting the big lane. He's down to the 30 and takes it to the Jaguar 27. That is a 19-yard run for the undrafted rookie as we head into the fourth quarter. Titans down three against the top team in the AFC. And Willis throws in complete for Torrey Carter. Again, heavy pressure. Blitz sent. Quick throw caught by Westbrook Akine. Inside the Jaguar 10. It's a gain of 20. And the Titans face goal to go. Three receivers in the game. Running with Chestnut. through an arm tackle. Down to the one. Jumbo personnel in for Tennessee. They'll run it, and Hassan Haskins has the touchdown. And the Titans are back in front. I like the way Haskins has run in this game. This is a good showing for him going into next year. And the extra point makes it 23-19. to Trevor Lawrence knows he needs that 50th touchdown now. 11.37 to go in the ballgame. And they'll run it. This is ETN with a pickup of six yards. 
Robinson the running back now. This is a third and two. Lawrence doesn't like it. Wants to buy some time and now runs for it. And I think that's enough. First down, Jacksonville. At their own 37 now. Lawrence throwing across the middle. Penalty marker down. For now, it's a Zay Jones first down. And it will not stand. Holding on Jacksonville. Second down and 18. They just keep it on the ground. And ETN doesn't get far. Third down, Jaguars. A long way to go. Robinson back in the game. Lawrence has time, but checks it down. And Robinson gets a gain of six. And they're going to have to punt this football. This number one rated offense has been in a bit of trouble today. They haven't finished drives as you would normally expect. Not much of a return there for Turpin up to the eight-yard line. But really good position to be in now for Tennessee. This is Haskins downhill again. Jacksonville just with no answer for the running game inside. Six and a half to go in this game. They fake it to Haskins. Bootleg left. Willis flicks it complete. That's Hooper who might have first down yardage. They'll mark him shy. Third and inches. Haskins is the running back. They get it to the rookie, and he's wrapped up on the play. He is shy of the marker and lost yardage. Fourth down, Titans. They bring out the punt team, Stonehouse from the 31, and they fake it. It's a Conquo right down the middle into Jaguar territory. A 30-yard run, and the Titans get a first down. A fake punt up by four. At their own 31. And the Titans keep it. Screen. Haskins follows his blockers. But a really good play to wrap him up at the 37. Right here they're on the edge of field goal range. Third and seven. Free rusher. And overthrown. A missed block up front. And the Titans will now face a fourth and seven. And they bring out Randy Bullock. Now the wind is blowing in. And perhaps second thoughts here for coach Hayden John Charles. They will go for it instead. Fourth and seven. Willis throwing downfield. It's caught. Westbrook Akine. He's done it again. Goal to go, Tennessee. This is how they want to end their season. They run it. Haskins downhill, fighting his way down to the two. Second and goal, Titans. Offset backfield behind Willis, who looks to throw, and it's caught for the touchdown by Josh Gordon. And the Tennessee Titans are up two scores on the number one seed Jaguars. It is the first catch on the year for Josh Gordon. He's been on the active roster. He's been mentoring these receivers. And he gets his moment at the very end. 30 to 19. The Jaguars have to be stunned. They are faced with fourth and three. Two minutes to go. They got to have it. Setting up a screen incomplete. There is a penalty. And it is against the Jaguars. Declined. And the Tennessee Titans take over on downs. They'll run it with Haskins through the middle again. The Jaguars have not been able to slow him down. They're using their timeouts now. First down, and they'll toss outside. Haskins through a defender. He scores! Touchdown, Hassan Haskins! And the Titans have turned this into a blowout late. 37-19. to It was a four-point game. When the Jaguars gave up that fake punt. That one is ripped away. There is a penalty. And this too will be against the Jaguars. I can't believe how quickly this has fallen apart on them. A minute 13 to go. Fourth down. Lawrence downfield. And this one is hauled in. That is Evan Ingram at the 48 of Tennessee. So Lawrence can still try to get that 50th touchdown. Launching again. Nice grab, Zay Jones. Out of bounds at the 20. Too deep here for the Titans. 
Lawrence under pressure, going for the end zone now, but Jones out of bounds. A couple more tries at it with 40 seconds on the clock. Lawrence check down, incomplete for ETN. Third down and 10. Lawrence protected, extends the play and heaves it out the back of the end zone. This might be his last chance. 49 touchdown Trevor Lawrence. He will get it away to the end zone. It's incomplete. And the Tennessee Titans are going to spoil the finale for the Jaguars. And they spoil Trevor Lawrence's opportunity to get to 50 touchdown passes on the season. And they have won. They avenge their loss from four weeks ago. And they end the season winning four straight and five of their final six games. This team took far too long to figure things out. But where they are now, if they can build upon this going into next year, maybe the Titans can have a big comeback season. We made it through year one, everybody. It has been a wild season from the 12 straight losses to this strong finish. Hopefully, this is the kind of season that lays a foundation for future success. I do feel pretty good the way this season ended, but I know there is a lot to do. There's a lot we have to fix. We only have so much cap space. We only have so many picks. But I think this rookie class has contributed nicely, and we do have some young talent that we can build around. Kyle Phillips looked good today. Hassan Haskins looked good. Chance Campbell made some plays. And QB1, Malik Willis continues to impress. Had a lot of really good passes in today's game. I have really enjoyed playing with Malik Willis, and he will not be replaced this offseason. I know you think about us winning these games late and how that impacts our draft positioning, but winning has its benefits as well. We end up playing this one aggressively. We get 1,000 XP for everybody. And then we go through this one here. Nice jersey there, uh, Ryan Fulton. And it's uh, 2,500 XP for everybody. So a lot of upgrades going around. Morale improving. And players are producing on their way to us getting all these wins. So here are the final stats that I will be going deeper into in the recap episode that'll be coming later this week where i'll be talking about the season and then previewing the draft and i've thought about it i think i want to do the draft this weekend even though there might end up being a draft reset at some point at least to get the off season in would be nice like ea still hasn't fixed this bug they say they're aware of it so i feel like they have some confidence in being able to fix it but we're almost three months into this game, and this problem still exists. Let me know what you think down below. We cost the Jaguars a lot winning this game, by the way. We end up with a 5-12 season, playing ourselves out of a number one or two pick. This says that we have number three, but we were tied for the fourth highest or lowest win percentage. So it should be four or five. But we've come a long way since those 12 losses and many of those games were winnable as well but we finally figured it out here at the end got lucky against dallas of course but back to costing jacksonville remember when they were the number one seed well they're the five off of that one game because the colts take the division playing spoiler there was a lot of fun but now our attention will mostly shift ahead to the draft I'll be going through these positions again, looking for my favorite players, and I'll talk about more of them in the draft recap. But if we have a top five pick, we need to come away with a truly elite talent that can help us never have to pick this high again. Whether that player is a wide receiver, an offensive lineman, a pass rusher, I'm looking for the highest ceiling players that can help a roster that needs more young talent. And we don't have, you know, as many options as when we were 0-12. Some of these players will be taken before we have a chance. But I feel good about being able to find 
day one starters for this team. And that's what we're looking for, early contributors. So with that, everybody, thank you all for supporting year one of the Titans franchise through the 12 losses in a row, through all the interceptions. You all continue to show support, and I really appreciate that. I am excited for year two, and I hope we can get there on time, smoothly. I don't know with the way Madden is right now. The game is not in a great place with bugs in franchise mode. And I just hope that we can get year two underway shortly. But leave your thoughts down below. I'll talk to you more later this week about the Titans offseason that is upcoming. Please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all next time. Have a great day.